Have you ever pondered the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle, that stretch of water in the Atlantic Ocean where ships and airplanes have mysteriously disappeared without leaving a trace? The mysteries it holds have both baffled and fascinated the world for centuries. First, let us delve into the tale of the Mary Celeste. In November 1872, this merchant brigantine set sail from New York City, bound for Genoa, Italy. Her crew was experienced, her cargo of alcohol was secure, and her voyage began without incident. Yet, less than a month later, the Mary Celeste was found adrift, her crew mysteriously missing. The ship was in good condition, the cargo untouched, and the crew's personal belongings left behind. No sign of struggle, no indication of disaster. The crew had simply vanished. Next, we recount the story of the Ellen Austin. This American schooner, in 1881, stumbled upon an abandoned ship drifting in the Atlantic. A prize crew was sent to salvage the derelict, but as the Ellen Austin and her prize tried to sail back to New York, they were separated by a dense fog. When the fog lifted, the derelict was once again unmanned, the prize crew gone. Subsequent attempts to man the ship resulted in the same eerie disappearance, leading the Ellen Austin to abandon the cursed vessel. The Bermuda Triangle's appetite is not limited to merchant vessels. In March 1918, the USS Cyclops, one of the Navy's largest fuel ships, disappeared without sending a distress signal. Despite extensive search efforts, no trace of the ship or her 309 crew members were ever found. The Carol A. Deering is another tale that sends chills down one's spine. This five-masted commercial schooner was found run aground off Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, in January 1921. The crew's personal belongings, ship's navigational equipment, logbooks and life rafts were missing. The crew, like those before them, had vanished into thin air. Finally, we have the Witchcraft, a cabin cruiser that disappeared in December 1967. Just one mile off the coast of Miami, the Witchcraft sent a distress signal after hitting something. When the Coast Guard arrived 15 minutes later, they found no trace of the Witchcraft or her two-man crew. The Bermuda Triangle stretching between Miami, Bermuda and Puerto Rico is a vortex of mystery and intrigue. Over the years, a range of scientific theories have been proposed to explain the Triangle's eerie disappearances. On the flip side, the Bermuda Triangle has also been shrouded in folklore and legends. Sea monsters, alien abductions and even the lost city of Atlantis are among the popular myths associated with the Triangle. These stories, while lacking empirical evidence, have been passed down through generations, adding to the allure and mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. As we sail further into the depths of the Bermuda Triangle's mysteries, let's cast our anchor onto the shores of science and explore some potential explanations for the phenomena associated with this enigmatic region. Firstly, we cannot dismiss the role of human error. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the most heavily traveled shipping lanes in the world. With such a high volume of sea and air traffic, it is plausible that human mistakes, including navigational mistakes, poor weather conditions, and mechanical failures could account for many of the unfortunate disappearances. Secondly, the Bermuda Triangle is notorious for its sudden and severe weather patterns, such as sudden storms, hurricanes, and water spouts. These weather events can pose a significant threat to ships and aircraft. Thirdly, some theorists propose that variations in the Earth's magnetic field within the triangle could interfere with compasses. The Earth's magnetic north pole isn't the same as its geographic north pole, which means that compasses usually don't point exactly north. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the places on Earth where true north and magnetic north align. This can potentially affect compass readings, leading to navigational errors if not properly compensated for. Another scientific explanation points towards the presence of methane hydrates. Large fields of this gas are trapped in the ocean floor. If released, it could cause the water to become less dense by reducing the water's buoyancy and potentially sinking ships without a trace. However, this is highly speculative and not widely accepted in the scientific community. Lastly, we cannot completely rule out the possibility of human trafficking and piracy or criminal activities. These incidents are not paranormal, but rather criminal in nature. While these explanations may not account for all the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, 
They certainly provide a scientific perspective to the enigma. They remind us that sometimes the answers to our most perplexing questions can be found not in the realms of the supernatural, but in the laws of nature and the actions of mankind. As we wrap up our journey through the Bermuda Triangle, we are left with more questions than answers. The Bermuda Triangle serves as a symbol of the uncharted territories that still exist in our world, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. It's a stark reminder of how much we still have to learn about our own planet. It's these mysteries that spark our curiosity, ignite our imagination, and propel us forward in our quest for knowledge. Regardless of the origins of the Bermuda Triangle legend, whether psychological or otherwise, it's crucial to emphasize that there is no concrete evidence to support the notion that this area is more dangerous than any other part of the world. So feel free to plan your vacation to Bermuda without undue worry. However, always remember to wear a life jacket when you're on the water. It's just a common sense. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and remember, the world is full of mysteries waiting to be solved. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive.